Hello children, it's story time again. So today, before reading the book, I thought I will teach you something new. Do you know, just the way we have different body parts, a book also has different parts? Today, we will talk about different parts of the book. So here I have a book. Yes, what you see here is the front cover of the book. What you see here is the front cover of the book. We always open a book from the front. And we read a book from the front. This is the back cover of the book. Or this is the back side of the book. Now what you see here is the middle of the book. What you see here is the middle of the book. And this is called spine. This is called spine. The spine of the book helps to keep all the pages together. The spine of the book holds all the pages of the book together. Now. What do you see on the front of the book? The front of the book tells us about what is inside the book. What is the story all about? What do you see here? I see a big dog. Isn't that dog very big? And do you see a boy and a girl? Are they big or are they small? They are small and the dog is big. What is the color of the dog? Yes, it's a red dog with a black nose. So this story is about this big red dog. Now, what you see here is the title of the book. That is the name of this book. So the name or the title of this book is Clifford's Good Deeds. So the name or the title of this book is Clifford's Good Deeds. What else would you see on the front cover of the book? You also see another name here. It says Norman Bridwell. So who is Norman Bridwell? Norman Bridwell is the author of the book. Now you must be wondering, who is an author? An author is a person who writes the story, who writes the book. Okay, so many a times you will see author of the book is, and the name of the author, you may also see written by, and the name of the author. Now, do you see this beautiful picture of the dog here? Yes. Now, this is also called as illustration. And you know, the person who makes all these beautiful drawings or create the pictures for the story or the book, the person is called an illustrator. What is that person called? Illustrator. Now, many a times, the illustrator and the author may be the same person, which means the same person wrote the story and the same person made the pictures for the book. Now, what I will do is I will show you another book and you have to name the different parts of the book. Okay, I will just open the book for you. So what do you see here? You see two pictures, right? One and two. So what do you see here? What is this? This is the front of the book. It's called the front side of the book or it's called the front cover of the book. What is this? That's right. This is the back cover of the book. This is the back cover of the book. Now, what is this? I know this is the front of the book. 
This is the back of the book. What is this? It's, it is the spine of the book. The middle of the book that holds all the pages together. Now in the front of the book, I see something written out here. What is this? Yes, that's the title, the name of the book or the story. And the name of this book is The Golden Fish. Do you see a beautiful fish out here? A golden fish? I also see that it says written by Teresa Green. What does this mean? Who is Teresa Green? She is the author. She is the one who wrote the words in this book or the story. So she wrote the story, The Golden Fish. This says, Pictures by Brenda Lee. Pictures by Brenda Lee. So who is Brenda Lee? Brenda Lee is the illustrator. So she's the one who made this beautiful fish. The picture of this fish was created by the illustrator, Brenda Lee. So now we all know what are the different parts of the book. We will now read a book. The title of this book is Pink is for Boys. The author is Rob Perlman. And who is an author? An author is a person who writes the story. It's illustrated by Ida Caban. Who is an illustrator? The person who creates the picture for the story. So let's start reading. Pink is for boys and girls and bows on fancy clothes. Blue is for girls and boys and uniforms on a team. Yellow is for boys and girls and a crown to wear. Green is for girls and boys and grass to run on. Red is for boys and girls and cars racing along the track. Orange is for girls and boys and popsicle tripling down sticky chins. Purple is for boys and girls and unicorns because unicorns. Brown is for girls and boys and teddy bears to cuddle. Black and white are for boys and girls and puppies and kittens to pet. And all the colors are for everyone girls and boys and flowers and butterflies and rainbow in the sky this book tells us that colors are for everyone you can wear any color or play any games you like no matter what's your favorite color or your favorite game children always remember you are Special. And I have a very special song for you. I want every one of you to sing along and enjoy this song. I am special. I am special. 
I hope you enjoyed the reading session today. I will see you next time with a new book to read. Until then, happy reading, happy learning. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.